Yo guys, what is going on? It is Royal here today back for another episode of the Prisons vs. series here on royal.oplegends.com. Of course, if you guys want to come check out the server, please consider using that custom IP because whenever you guys do, it does directly support me in the channel. So I obviously greatly appreciate it. Now guys, if you don't already know, this season of Prisons just released. You guys can still hop on Bedrock or Java. Doesn't matter what version of Minecraft you guys are on. But this season, we are doing a versus series against the YouTuber Mezoid. And just in the last episode, um, it was my first time logging onto the server. And the first time I got to take a look at his entire cell. So if we just go ahead and peep the difference. All right, technically they have deposited beacon. So I guess they're quote unquote winning and never mind. In the last video, Mizoid actually invited Dylan and Hateboo to his cell, but it looks like he has now removed them. So he has icy stay. I honestly want to bow some of these guys to see if they're actually depositing all of their beacons. Okay, no. So icy stay has 340k beacons in his balance. Let's bow Mizoid. He has 1,900 beacons. Nice, bro. Let's bow Melanite Sun. I think this might be one of their top grinders. He has 260k beacons. And then there is one more guy I'm forgetting. Underscore John 2014 underscore bow. Um, hopefully he's online. Oh, he's not. John 2014 underscore. Basically, no beacons either. Um, low key, bro. I haven't even played a lot this season. And I might have more beacons in their entire cell combined by myself. And granted. This is my pickaxe. So listen, versus series wise, this is looking pretty light at the moment. But if you guys are watching this and you want to help me in the versus series, there are still ways that you guys can hop on and help me win, even if you're not in my cell. One of those ways being if you go to plot, visit Royal K9 right here. All right, just do that whenever you guys hop onto the server and you guys can come sell me all of your keys. We basically buy keys for the best prices on the server or we'll match the best price, whatever you guys can see right here. Message Ada or not Trey if the shops run out of money. We're buying keys 24 seven. They help us out a ton if you guys sell us your keys. And if you're not a super high ranked player, you will make more from selling us your keys than if you use them yourselves. Now, let me go ahead and run through a couple of ways to actually make keys. Obviously, AFK for the vote party gives you a pretty decent amount of keys you do have key finder on your pickaxe but i believe those just give you mine keys which we still do buy but another great way to make keys is literally by using your slash relics over here so let me head over to not trace mine really quickly and we're gonna head over to the relic incubator um right over here or you can just do slash relic that'll work too but boom you come right over here make sure you guys are using your relics because look at the rewards you can win keys right there we just got a relic key this one we got four party four party Cray keys and then this one three loot cray keys and then bang another three loot cray keys just like that now i've been saving this purple tiered one for this intro because if we look at the possible rewards we're either gonna get relic keys or we have a very small chance of pulling a jack-o-lantern loot box key from this mythic relic okay so we're gonna test our luck right now pray for the jack-o-lantern loot box boom nope we got three relic keys. I believe, oh no, four relic keys. I believe that was, okay. A little unfortunate, but it's all good. They are super rare chances. And I usually end up pulling a couple every single season. But off camera as well, guys, if I do slash skills, we have completely maxed out our mining skill. And whenever you max this thing out at level 30, I'll throw a screenshot on the screen right now. You win yourself a jack-o-lantern loot box. And unfortunately it auto opens. So I couldn't open it up on episode, but the screenshot is showing you what we ended up winning we actually got ourselves another orb boost pickaxe modifier now if i take a look at my pickaxe we have 177,000 raw blocks broken which isn't the greatest but i do plan on grinding a decent amount in today's video so far this is what the pickaxe is looking like dragon burst 2.2k with orb greed 1k all of the other enchants i'm gonna be honest with you i don't really care about because i am focusing strictly orbs at the moment you guys know i was super late to start of the world so we are just insanely far behind even everybody on the week Weekend, had it double orb drops because that's a brand new update here on op legends every single weekend you get double the amount of orbs and i missed the entire freaking weekend so we're just crazy far behind i don't really need to be making money right now because my cell has me absolutely covered money wise so i'm straight focusing the orb enchants and in today's video i will be unlocking one of the best enchants on the entire server that you could possibly get so right now we have 30 million orbs Let's just test this. I'm going to dump it all into Dragon Burst real quick. And I want to see how many orbs we're making approximately per Dragon Burst proc right there. Um, we're at 319k. Let's see if we can get another quick one. And we went to 550k. So that's about 200 
30k uh, orbs per Dragon Burst proc, I believe. We went from 320 to 550, so 230k. Once we get this enchant that I'm going to be grinding for in today's episode, that amount should shoot way up. But unfortunately, that enchant is going to be rather expensive to go ahead and unlock and then actually upgrade. If you guys don't know what enchant I'm talking about, all right, if we take a look at my pickaxe, we're going to have to first off max out speed to level five. I believe this thing costs around 150 million orbs to max out. And then you are going to go to enchant upgrades. And as you guys can see right here, enchant requirement to actually unlock gold rush, you need speed level five. But gold rush is the like best enchant in my opinion on the server. Because once you unlock this thing, you guys can see in the description, it says turns a layer of your mind to gold, which gives you 10 times the blocks. And it also gives you a boost on how much orbs you make. It's not 10 times the amount of orbs for a layer, but it's still a massive, massive difference. And whenever I unlock that enchant bro, I can just always always feel the progress really start to fly. So just remember 230k orbs per dragon burst proc approximately right now. Once we unlock that gold rush enchant, we should be making way more per proc. So anyways, guys, um, I do want to add this orb pickaxe modifier to my pickaxe, but um, we already have one. And if I go to my pickaxe modifiers to unlock the second slot, we have to get to 250,000 raw blocks. And I'm assuming that's going to be about the amount of time it takes me to get gold rush. So I'm going to take a cup for this intro right now i do probably want to get my dragon burst up just a little bit more and my orb greed as well then i'm basically going to save a ton of orbs we're going to max out speed because oh my god bro not only do we need speed to unlock gold rush but once we unlock the speed five i can just run at the top of the mine and it's so much easier to mine for like long periods of times if i don't have to continuously fly keep holding shift to break other layers and i can just run at the top like this it's just way more afkable i can watch a show since i won't really have to pay attention to my screen and yeah we need to get that immediately but right now hey we're making a pretty decent amount of orbs um orbs pet is level 110 we still have the lemonite armor set and if i do slash armor sapphire is at 1 million raw blocks jesus christ am i far away from that for sure scratch the sapphire set this episode there's no way that is happening but i'm also mining at this level 100 mine and not trey one of my cell members and i'm not sure what mine mesoid cell is using I'm kind of assuming they're using Mizoid's mine. And if we go to Mine Go Mizoid, his mine is currently level 34. So I'm going to keep farming and not trays. And we're going to be able to farm so much more beacons than Mizoid sell because our mine is way bigger and a way higher level. So yeah, let me just take a cut. We have a couple of goals that we need to get to 250 raw blocks in today's episode, and we are unlocking Gold Rush. I will see you guys in one second. All right, guys, we are back. And um, if we take a look at our pickaxe, we are at 255,000 raw blocks. So I'm just going to go ahead, apply this orb booster immediately. And if we take a look at our scoreboard, we have a whopping 283 million orbs. So that is going to be way more than enough to max out our speed. Wow. Speed is actually 182 million orbs. I can't lie. That hurts the balance a little bit. We now have a hundred million left over and let's go ahead. Take a look at gold rush. 250 levels is going to cost us 55 million. So let's do that. And then, oh my God, another 50 levels is basically our entire orb balance. So let's see how many levels of dragon burst could we get 250? I'd rather do that. I'm not going to lie to you. So bang. There we go. Now let's go mine go dad kisser 01 really quickly. There's usually not too many people mining here. I need to see how much we are making per uh dragon burst proc once again. If I can remember correctly, the last one was 230k. Bang. What the hell did we just go to? I actually didn't even pay attention. That is completely on me. We're at 1.23 million. 1.23 million. I just need to get it to proc right here. Still waiting. Holy hell. Bang. We went from 0.23 million to 0.77 mil that is 540k orbs every single proc compared to like 230k so this is easily over doubled our orbs love to see it and this is exactly why we go to this enchant it's gonna double our orb production and we're gonna be able to start maxing out our pickaxe so much faster oh wait hold on was that with the booster that's with no booster i don't remember if i used a booster in the last one but now 4.08 million to 4.66 almost 600 000. we are only using a one 
1.5x booster, so it's, I guess it's not going to be anything super, super duper crazy. But as you guys should be able to tell, our orb production is going way up. We just need to upgrade our dragon burst a little bit more, so that way it be a little bit more efficient, because as you guys can see, oh, I was mining that layer for dumb long. So yeah, dragon burst is still a little slow, but we have gotten the main goal for this episode done, bro. Both of them, actually. And I guess right now, the only thing left to do is mine blocks. Um, Yeah, not anything else to really go for yet. Ooh, one thing I do want to take a look at, by the way, if we do slash gang, I don't know if you guys know this, but gang goals and gang upgrades are a brand new update this season. I want to take a look at our gang goals. Oh, I guess we completed both of them because we are on cooldown for another 10 hours over here and another six hours over here. Can I look at like the gang shop or anything? That's gang top. Oh, you guys can see right here. So we have a hundred gang points and 2000 gang XP. Not entirely sure what that means. I don't know if only leaders could see gang upgrades or maybe they're just not out yet. That could also be a possibility. I also have a million beacons. So let's just deposit all of those because I know uh, Mizoid, he likes to deposit his beacons. You guys know, I never really deposit my beacons until payout. And he likes to just hold the title that he's beating us because technically we haven't deposited our beacons. So that will be no longer, pal. If we do slash G compare, I mean, I guess they could technically be beating us. Let's do Mizoid. Um, no, they're, they're getting smoked. Okay, perfect. And if we take a look, Mizoid's gang has zero points and zero gang XP, which shows that they are not grinding the same amount that we are because we have 2,000 gang XP. Oh, we're also level two. I didn't realize gangs actually have levels. G top um is level two. Oh, uh, these guys are all level one. We're level two. Let me do slash G compare like a senior giraffe. What level are these guys? They're level one as well. Hold on, boys. We might be going crazy. The main one though that is definitely gonna be ahead of us if we do slash G compare is going to be POV fred royal k9 this one yeah they're level two as well that makes sense but we're basically tied with them it's all gonna come down to like whoever's uh cooldown runs out faster i guess but yeah that's some of the brand new updates and we are beating mizoid in the brand new update the gang xp and whatnot and we are also beating him in now trophies as well and those are literally just the trophies that i have and i have the least amount of trophies on my entire cell so the time we've spent yapping bro um we are all the way up to 16 million orbs i want to see how many levels of dragon burst this is going to be worth because that is basically just what I want to focus right now. Almost 100. That's not too bad. Once we get like Dragon Burst 5k, that's really whenever it's going to start to get insane. So I'm just going to take a cut right here. We're going to mine for a bit. I will see you guys in one second. All right. We've been mining for a couple of hours. Honestly, maybe only like two and a half to three hours. I don't actually know how much mining I just did. It still hasn't been long at all, but the amount of progress we have made in that amount of time is actually crazy. And I think we should probably pop another orb booster. And that's kind of our last one. I might have to rip open some keys here in a bit to see if I can pull some of my own orb boosters. Or I'm gonna head over to my plot here in a second after we reset the mine one more time and see if there's any extra boosters. I'm not even using 2.5 X's, guys. Oh, but wait, off camera as well, while I was mining, obviously I already told you guys about the relics in the beginning of this episode. We actually ended up pulling another jack-o'-lantern relic. So let's open that up right now, see if we get lucky. It's right here. We can win two or three relic keys or a jack-o'-lantern loot box. Bang, and three freaking keys dude one of these episodes i promise you we are pulling one out of one of those mythic relics i swear it's every time i record as well like the last couple of seasons i just open them thinking i'm not gonna get a loot box and i pull one almost every time but every single time i'm recording i don't want to pull anything it's kind of weird we're also at another 680k beacons which is decent but i've been mining a tyler's mine and it's not the max out level it's level 86 which means it has a little bit less beacons in it but we're gonna have to start leveling up all of our mines anyway i actually do want to start leveling mine up probably in the next episode as well but before that i want like almost a max out pickaxe because if i start leveling up my mind now our orb production is going to go straight into the dirt because it's like level 30 or something so listen if you guys are watching this episode you can definitely do slash mine go royal k9 that would greatly help me out and this season i actually won't have to close my mind just because we're on a cell and we have plenty of other minds like we have tyler's i think we're working on jogs at the moment and then obviously we have trays which is a max out level 100 but anyways, let's take a look at the pickaxe so far. Bang. We are at Dragon Burst level 5.5k, which is over halfway maxed. We have Orb Greed at 2.5k, which I think is like halfway maxed. Yeah, over halfway maxed as well. We can go ahead and throw another 250 levels on that, and then we'll throw the rest on Dragon Burst. There we go. I still haven't touched any of these other money-making enchants, because again, just not what I'm focusing right now, but ooh. We should actually start really leveling up Scavenger, because our fortune and our efficiency is 4.5k. 
okay so if we max those out that is going to unlock double down which is a great enchant and it's also going to unlock augment augment's kind of a mid enchant but double down is actually really good and then we might want to even start investing a little bit more into key finder to get some extra keys and stuff because i am completely broke on boosters but for right now let me go to my plot Maybe there's some left over here. We have a bunch of chests. I haven't looked at these things. Yeah, this is Sapphire. I don't know. Dude, that was like nine Sapphire sets or something for some reason. And then Lemonite. Oh, wait. Saw a couple boosters. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know who these are, but I am robbing them. Thank you very much. Another thing, guys, that I have not really been working on is Slash Pass, bro. I've completely forgot about this, but we have some challenges right here that we should be able to knock out besides this one. I have no tier four modifier boxes, so that one's kind of cooked. This one, like right here, bro, even these challenges. Activate key finder 100 times our key finder is level 310 so these challenges take forever when in reality they probably shouldn't but right here all we got to do is open up some pet boxes that should be light work let's grab 16 of these bad boys bang there we go surely i have some regular pet boxes right no way i don't what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up some of our keys like we have some mine keys right here oh my god that was dumb loud. But slash crates, Um, let's see. We have 460 mine crate keys right here. Instant open all. Boom, there we go. Just needed it to complete the challenge for slash pass. Um, How many did I have to open? I thought it was eight. Oh, these are robot boxes. I thought these were pet boxes. Oh my God. Okay, that makes it a little bit harder. Um, We can just open up all of these then. And we did get some 1x orbs boosters, which is terrible, but I guess it's better than nothing. Slash crates, we still have another 255 loot crate keys in here though. We'll rip that open gonna give us some more um regular pet boxes slash pass um oh these are ultras oh so rip open all the ultras boom that's another challenge down and then we got another three regular robot boxes which is gonna be enough to complete that challenge there we go still didn't get anything too great out of those uh crakeys, but we should still be working on this pass as much as possible because the deeper you get the better the rewards do get the early stages actually do seem to be like kind of bad but i mean it's early stages they're supposed to be a little bad so yeah definitely gonna start working on this as well and now let me slash gang i'm gonna deposit these 600k beacons boom and let's g compare royal k9 to mezoid once again obviously we are still winning i don't think anybody else has deposited in mesoid cell but look at this gang points and gang xp i think they finally completed a challenge i think from one challenge you get 50 gang points so hey it's about time bro right now we're at 102 000 xp so maybe it's actually 25 gang points per i don't know we're gonna be checking that out a little bit more in the next episode but for right now let's bow all of mesoid's members real quick melanite sun this guy is usually always online he has 1.9 million beacons on his own that is actually pretty solid well, let's go ahead bow mesoid he still has nothing john oh this guy's online as well he only has 157 beacons so either he's hiding them in a shop or he deposited but last one bow icy stay only 430k beacons you love to see it anyways guys i think that's gonna do it for this episode in the next one i want to work on the slash gang upgrades and stuff that is a brand new update and keep upgrading our pickaxe especially because we just got gold rush one of the best enchants on the entire server i'm I'm telling you we're gonna start flying through this pickaxe progress we honestly might get pretty close to a maxed out pickaxe in the next episode so anyways yeah with all that being said hopefully you guys did enjoy drop a like sub if you guys are new obviously come check out the server with royal.oplegends.com and yeah i will catch you guys in the next episode of the prisons versus series